Once I got to uh, 2nd Battalion, 8th Marines, we were out of the door within four months to Ramadi, Iraq. Um, we lost a couple people there. Uh, Corporal Yale uh, was out of our weapons uh, company. From there, I went to uh, Afghanistan. Uh, we did the helo insert there. We lost a lot of guys uh, in, in 2 8 period, had injuries to my left eye, and then uh, ended up getting two or three rounds to my back that Luckily, my sappy pate uh, took all the uh, force there. It's been a long road to recovery. It was very hard with, with a lot of the PTSD uh, deployed to Afghanistan from 2009 all the way to 13. Um, and each year it was a little bit harder, a little bit harder. My commander, my CO, actually pulled me aside and asked me if I was okay. And I, I completely broke down crying and I was shaking. and. Then, I was embarrassed. I felt like I had failed everything, but in my head, I had always promised myself if there was ever a point at which I either was a danger to myself, but primarily if I was a danger to my guys, then it was time to, it was, it was maybe time to quit. I got to a really, really low point uh, where the meds weren't necessarily working and I needed to address a lot of the, um, instances that it happened, the IED at blast that it happened, it taken lives, um, Marines that had taken their lives, um, Marines that didn't make it back, and Marines that were still healing. Um, my own Marines check on me a lot and ask me, how are you, with the emphasis on you. And so um, I feel it's part of my responsibility to tell them exactly how I feel and not, not hide it, which is hard. As a staff sergeant, you want to make sure you're leading Marines, but I feel you also have to be open and honest and let them know, hey, I'm not feeling good today. There were times when I didn't have any energy to keep going. Um, I was at a point where I was in the hospital and had almost coded a couple times um, because suicide was my I felt like that was my only option at that point. My family's been supportive. Uh, my doctor's been supportive. I think it's just being open enough to ask for help when you need to. The worst thing to do is to just keep suffering. Um, the best thing um, to know about Wounded Warriors is there's a lot of people there that, that understand who you are and what you're going through. It's really a layer of comfort. Um, knowing that you can be yourself and being able to be comfortable and confident uh, that it's okay to, to have a bad day and you're, you're not going to be perfect every day. I actually retire uh, June 29th this year, uh, a little shorter than uh, I expected to. I wanted to go to, to 20 years now to focus on the next chapter. Um, uh, it's going to be awesome, but still always remembering that I, I'm a Marine and not just a retired Marine, but that I'm still an infantry Marine.